on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. For the first time, we are playing a UEFA Conference League competition, not scoring a goal in the first half. Or am I wrong? We played against Jenks, we scored a goal in the first half. We played against Panathinaikos, we scored a goal in the first half. We played against Noah, we scored goals in the first half. Now we played against Heidenham. Heidenham. I've been a Heidenham. I've been a Heidenham. Pardon my pronunciation. I didn't have now. I did the pronunciation. We failed to score a goal in the first half. We created chances, but we failed to convert our chances. Is it the one from Magu Angu? Is it the one from Christopher Kunku Angu? Like, but most of the chances created was from Magu Angu. He was he failed to finish one or two of his chances created for him. You understand? At the first half, Mojik was not, he was looking as if he was not really, full, he was not fully involved in the game. But coming in the second half, after we failed to score a goal in the first half, mind you, I told you guys that, see, playing a German team is not going to be easy in this tournament. And again, not only that, these people have not lost any game in this tournament so far. They have not lost any game. This is the first game that they are losing. And their beating run ends today in the UEFA Conference League. Their beating run ends today. They would have ended our own, but we ended up ending their own. So Chelsea won 2 0. Two goals that we scored were fantastic the one from Mukunku and the one from Mujik. Good, good assist from Sancho. In short, Sancho does the comeback. It'd be like Sancho's mission for Chelsea now just to come give assists. Even though you know one score will be like an assist now been calling for Chelsea. Just come Chelsea and be giving assists. I want to remind my youth fans then. Say Sancho get assists past all their wingers. I be had a lie. <laughs> Don't mind me. Sure. But it was a it was a wonderful one. And kudos to Heidenham, their goalkeeper. You see those people, their goalkeeper tried very well. As in, he made a lot of save. He made a lot of, as in, the goalkeeper was up there. He was ready for Chelsea today. He was ready to walk away with a point. Because they scored those, they, they also scored goals, but just that Chelsea were playing the high line in the sense that they were just watching them. And the people said, they, 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 they catch, they, they fall Mugu for the, this team, for the trap. Chelsea, they set trap and they fall for the trap, 2 4 7. At every given time, they, they fall for the trap. On our score, three goals, three of them are offside. And I would not be saying that just more offside. Big offside. Big one. And kudos to my goalkeeper, to Jorginson. Two good saves. I'll be three, three or four good saves we make. Where they're supposed to finish, get good finishing. But they fail to finish them up. And kudos to my goalkeeper. Like I said, kudos to their own goalkeeper because. That guy save Bolo, I no go like give you. Is he the one from Magu? Is he the one from Hall? Is he one from Kunku? Ah, ah, from different places. He was just up there. He was just ready for Chelsea today. You understand? But in any way, um, we are happy that we stole the three points. Chelsea are 12 in the competition, 12 points in the competition. And also, we are number one. We still retain our spots. You can't take it away from us. We still maintain our stees. You understand? That's a very good one from us. But... Looking at the game today, looking at the game today, if we feel struggle like this with this team, it's not that we created chances, though, but this one was different from other games that they have played. That is the intensity, the tempo, everything was quite different from other games that we have been playing. We, I, I saw it and I was like, as, as the game progresses, as we progress, we'll be meeting tougher teams. And at some point, I think Mareska will tend to introduce some strong, strong foot. It's not that this one that they are here, they are not strong, but at least you know what I mean. You understand? But anyhow, anyhow, it was a very good one from both teams. They tried, the opponent, they tried to at least they want to prove a point. People will play Bayern Munich. I guess they may win Bayern, say, but not this season, like that last season. People will play Bayern Leverkusen in 2 0. Just that I don't know as they go, Mumu by uh, Leverkusen can go win them 5 2. So they were up there. They were ready for Chelsea today. If possible, they just wanted to steal a point. If you watch, their, their, their aim was just score and let's defend. Yes, that was the aim. Score and let's defend. 
you understand? Then if I'm to talk about individual brilliance, individual performance, like I said, kudos to Philip Jorginson, and also kudos to the Sassi, one way or the other, though he still make me own mistake, errors today. I know that playing as a left, right winger is not his position, but being our captain today, the leadership was there, and also the composure was there, but at some point, too, he slacked to one way or the other. Then Tosin, Tosin was up. Tosin was ready for today. He was ready to fight. But then she made one or two errors in terms of passes. But any or two, he still maintained his steals too for that position. Then I took Vega playing as a defensive midfielder today was something else. But anyhow, that was a good one. Good inverting. He was up there, returning, trying to cover up for this guy too, Cesare Cassidy, because Cassidy, I don't really understand him today. He can't just see today one overshadow him. But anyhow, Anyhow, in trying best, but the only area with me I know see, I don't really like what he's doing. That tackle was not necessary. How many, how many seconds remaining? It was not necessary. Congo get red card. I seen they come on and they blow the final whistle to tell you that the tackle was not necessary. It was not, it was not important. People were out there that we cover up that space. Do you understand? Then Karen Disbury Hall, aka KDH. I don't know go like give you that boy. That boy. Sometimes he will come be like say, I don't know where they play because at some point he can they play that left wing, right wing with Sancho. Come be like saying they inter switch with Sancho. You understand? But any I share coach instruction, I don't go blame him. But even at that, with waiting this period they play, KDHG play, I'm not sure whether he still stand the chance to start for EPA or, or play for EPA anytime soon. But anyhow, let me don't conclude. Let me don't conclude, but with time, the boy go get them right. You understand? A small, small, but it shocked me. Say, he says that their own best player come on our club. You know, if he turn up, you know, if he turn up. But anyhow, he try tried in your own way, one way or the other. He try. Then this other guy, what's his name? Um, uh, Mkunku. Sharp. Mkunku or Sharp. Mkunku or Sharp. Magu. Last, last. Eh? With what I see today, with what I see today, last, last. Magi go need go loan. If he be not, if he be not uh, this January, or maybe ending of the season, if he go loan, because that boy lacks some one or two things we lack in position in arriving there at the right time. There, you know, they understand them. You can't just even they lost at some point when they up front because he has to learn a lot. There's a lot Magi need to learn. That guy for score clean two goals today, if I'm not mistaken. For score sweet two goals today. But anyhow, Asha, let me don't take it up on him, but he's still young, he's still promising. But my thought is that he, he, he needs to go on loan. At least this January or maybe ending of the season, he needs to go on loan. So that he can learn and know more, you understand? So with this, with waiting play today, and he go hard to break into that team where everybody did struggle to break into. You understand? But any Asha, good one from him. Then Mudrik, I told you guys initially that when you watch the first half, it was looking as if Mudrik was not in the game. As even they come out body from the game. At, if you hold boy, they, they, they easily tackle and come out the ball for a leg. But coming in the second half, in football change, it always arrive inside the box. It always make move. And also that foul first half, that was not a penalty. No, that was not a penalty. Baba for be like, you know, in loose step, come for. But that was not a penalty because there was no contact. You understand? Though Mudrik was ahead with the ball, but there was no contact. You understand? I know some people say of Strutt's play, uh, play, in of Strutt's play, I'll be waiting, waiting to call, call him. But anyhow, that was not a penalty. You understand? Then Sancho, like I told you guys now, Baba been there injured. Come back, come they give two assists. It's God no one, it's God no wonderful. God is wonderful. So that's a good one from Sancho. Brilliant assist. Is it the one he gave to Nkunku? And that Nkunku go. Kai. Now one thing with Nkunku be that. That's go way to say you know they possible. Now that go way Nkunku, they always go. Nkunku like all these tight, tight space go. We have defenders go crowd them before you go. No, you don't chuck. You don't chuck. Just stay behind carry chuck that. Make it impossible. Shoot that ball inside net. We have defenders surround them. The same thing happened in the Bournemouth game. We have a one Bournemouth 1-0. After playing how many minutes, they brought him in. 
Sancho laid the pass. It was the same Sancho that gave him that pass. Inside three defenders, Babasi finally scored goal. So Nkunku is very good at that, those kind of balls, but it's very good that they, that they removed him from the pitch after that knock, because if they say they may play him again, if I don't, they hear another story. I know it's in Zomariska, they try to avoid, they try to protect in players when it comes to injury. You know one year story, you understand? So good one from Nkunku, good one from Sancho. Then you see that Mudrik go. You see the second assist. You see the footballing from, from is it from the Sassi down to Dizbury Hall, down to... Sancho come back to this bro again. This bro light and give Sancho. Sancho does drop him for Mudrik. Unlike Mudrik before, this kind of ball, they need to carry the post go up. Because me, I seen shoot at me, I don't even know say the ball. Then now when I see ball for grab, cause ah, this boy internet. I know you know. I mean, this ain't not shoot at come out that side. But anyhow, good one from uh, Mudrik. Good one from Sancho. Sancho don't give assist now. My youth players. Sancho get assist past all your wingers. So. Come comment session, Muku argue. You understand? So I'm very happy that we won the game. Up next is uh, Aston Villa this Sunday. Um, we look forward to that game because it's another day for us. We need to do justice to that game. We need to win so that we can still maintain our steers and position in the Premier League table because it will be very bad that we go and draw Aston Villa. It will be very, very bad. And Thank God, there was no Lavia, there was no Casaido, there was no Enzo in this game. So everybody is fit. They are highly fit to face Aston Villa on Sunday. You understand? So guys, do it to drop your thoughts and comment. And also, Kanichukwe Maker, they brought in Kanichukwe Maker. It was a good one to kind of make one or two runs. I don't know why I just can in the future. I'm they just give and space, even though not to start now. Else. Can he make one or two runs with sweet? Even for the, our previous match, he make him. If he penetrates, now once you are, I see about Kanichuko Emeka. Even Kanichuko Emeka make, make 1v1 self, I like him pass Madu Eko own. I don't go lie, give you. In 1v1, I like him because can if he penetrates, in 1v1, they sweet pass Madu Eko own. Madu Eko if he do 1v1. You understand? Good one from Kanichuko Emeka. And also those are our academy boys, so good one. At least they make one judge, they make one or two runs. I don't know why none of them, none of them in Dedia when uh, Kanichuko Emeka make that boy enter the box, they cross and nobody did there to shoot them, go inside. Jao Felix to make one or two runs too. It was fantastic in the game too. You understand? But in overall, I'll give it to the two goalkeepers. They are busy today. Jogginsi was busy. But uh Heidenham and this thing, Heidenham and this thing, goalkeeper was over busy today. Thank you very much. I remember your humble boy Peters. Do it to like, share, and subscribe.